Hi guys, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. In this video I was going to go through some of the best resources, uh, like free resources that can help you get started with Blender and like 3D modeling. So I've toyed around for quite a while now with uh, 3D modeling. I did uh, games design in college, uh, part of that course there was a 3D modeling aspect and I really enjoyed it. But over the years I kind of fell by the wayside, I didn't end up carrying on studying games design. Uh, I did go to uni to try and study it. Uh, it's a lot more programming heavy that course so I ended up uh, swapped courses but I've always dabbled I've always tried to get back into it because that was out of all of the different aspects of games design it was the modeling that I really enjoyed but due to uh, being furloughed I actually managed to get some time uh, so I thought I'd put it to use kind of productively uh, and finally get settled down and start actually learning how to do this obviously I've just been through this process uh, from like kind of March just before March uh, so it's kind of fresh in my mind like I've tried I've done so many different tutorials um, and I just wanted to put together a bit of a resource for anyone else who thinks that they kind of want to get uh, get going with this um, the what I use to do that as well as showing you footage of the those tutorials that people have made uh, I'm going to show you what I like the results from that tutorial that I did um, just to give you a bit of a kind of understanding of what you can go from having sort of no experience, follow these tutorials, like what you can create at the end of it. Okay, so the first uh, person I'd recommend you start with is uh, Grant Abbott. Uh, Grant has it all. His website isn't the, the best designed, but there, there is a 2.8 beginners course on there that you can follow sort of step by step. Um, all these videos are free, they're on YouTube, and you just follow this course step by step, and it kind of walks you through the very basics of when you open that first window and you see the cube, like how you can delete the cube, how you can add things, how you can like change and morph stuff and like make your own thing. Uh, it is a really good beginner's point that if you've got no prior knowledge of Blender or 3D design, um, this is where I'd recommend you start. His first series covers modeling, lighting, uh, volumetric fog. So there is some more advanced stuff in there, like fog isn't something that it's quite hard to do, but Grant, it helps you along. And once you've gone through this beginner's course, uh, Grant has Lots of different videos on his YouTube channel of modeling, sculpting, texturing, UV unwrapping, little exercises to keep your skills sharp and like just practice little bits. Uh, one of them is like making a chess piece and just playing around with different shapes and stuff for her hard surface modeling. Favorites of mine from Grant are the C Shack tutorial, which you can see here, and also this uh, the well tutorial. Um, the well is something you'll see if you're on Reddit a lot on the Blender subreddit, you do see the well cropping up quite a lot. A lot of Grant's stuff focuses on like low poly work, like artistic cartoony things. He does a lot for um, mobile game development and he is a teacher kind of as his day job. Uh, he is a 3D modeling teacher. Yeah, so I'd really recommend starting with Grant um, and it provides a very good grounding uh, for going on to like the next course from Andrew Price, AKA Blender Guru. If you've had an interest for a while now in Blender and th like 3D modeling, but specifically Blender, uh, you've probably heard of Andrew Price or Blender Guru. Uh, his donut tutorial is almost a rite of passage at this point. He had a donut tutorial for a, an earlier version of uh, Blender, but he kind of recently updated it to Blender 2.8 because a lot of the interface changed and you couldn't follow along with that tutor the old tutorial anymore. Uh, so it's really good that he updated that for all the new people to uh, sort of use 2.8. And because a lot of times progressed, uh, the actual like, texture and stuff that he goes into, it, the, the result looks a lot more photorealistic than you could have achieved in the last, if you'd follow along with his last tutorial. And not only does this tutorial cover modeling, it covers the texturing, animation and unwrapping, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you do get into the more advanced topics towards the end, especially animation. Uh, you get some really good results out of this. Here's my result of the donut tutorial from Blender Guru. Uh, I didn't do the animation bit uh, just because I kind of already knew how to do the animation from following some of Grant stuff and it would have took forever to render and I kind of, I, I knew I didn't need to learn that bit so I didn't do the animation, but maybe I'll go back and animate it. I mean, this is kind of a progression by the way. I, I would recommend starting with Grant uh, and then second, going to uh, Blender Guru's channel and following some of his tutorials. I mean, kind of after, after you've done the donor tutorial, I'd really recommend going over to the CG Boost channel. So Zach and the CG Boost team, they do have a lot of great content on their YouTube channel. Um, that they have a specific free Blender 2.8 kind of like beginners course. Um, they kind of, it really teaches you some of the more like photorealistic stuff and it's to make this uh, apple basket, there's a bit of cloth simulation in there. Um, so you model and texture painting, so you model a knife, texture paint that, you texture paint apples. Um, and it all looks very realistic. 
Yeah, and here's the result of me following the CG Boost beginners course tutorial. And CG Boost do have, if you really like this course, they do a Blender Launchpad course, it's called. Um, if you want to know more about that, you, there's a link in the description below. But that course is really good, and I'm probably going to have a video covering just that course specifically in the future. And if you want to see the results from that course, uh, I'll put a little card up here. You can see my result from that. You get a really slick, cool animation out at the end of that. Um, and I did read somewhere the other day that they're going to add more content to it soon about texturing. Because you, you don't really go into texturing in this one, it's more about the animation side of things. Okay, and last but not least for this video series, uh, once you've done the uh, Grant Abbott stuff, you've worked your way through uh, Blender Guru and CG Boost, I'd recommend going to Derek Elliott's channel. He's got lots of great free tutorials on there, and I'd say they're slightly more advanced. Um, but his, his style of presenting these tutorials, he's very slow, kind of chill, kind of, you kind of, it's not one of these like fast rushed videos that you usually get a lot of on YouTube. Uh, he really takes his time and you can, can, you can follow along and just click what he clicks if you want to learn like that. Um, but once I'd got to this stage and I was doing Derek stuff, I did sort of, I'd watch the video all the way through from start to finish and then I'd go away and just try and do it myself instead of following along clicking where I needed to click and where he clicked. Um, there's nothing wrong with that style of learning, but by the time I'd gone through all of these other courses, I did feel more confident and I was just more like, I was watching his tutorials more to be like, oh, that's cool, like, I didn't know, I didn't think that I could have done that. Um, let me see if I can put that into practice. And out of all of his videos, I'd probably start with a 3D cosmetic tutorial, because uh, that something to me, what excited me about that is that doing that and making it, it showed me that, oh, I could do this as a job. Like this is kind of the, because I'm a graphic designer anyway, but I kind of want to specialize now in like product design. And then I could really see that, oh cool, if I get good at this, a brand would pay me to do this, but with their branding on it instead of just a random brand that I'd made up. And also as well as his presenting style seems pretty chill, he does seem just quite a nice genuine guy on social media as well. Like if you if you create something following his tutorial and tag him on Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter, like he does respond. Um, and that's really nice that a content creator like that who's doing quite well it does take the time out to comment and tell you that you've done a good job. But yeah, I've done a few videos um, following Derek's tutorials. So I've done the cosmetics one. Uh, I did the phone advert, but instead of doing a phone advert, I did a Rolex advert. And again, I watched the, his ro uh, his phone advert from start to finish and then went and did the Rolex one myself. He did one about a phone animation. This one I did follow along with like doing what he did. And then I went away and did something slightly different um, using those exact same skills to make like a LinkedIn emoji thing. So I was trying to build up my LinkedIn profile. Um, so I went something specific to that platform. So I did that, which you can see now. And yeah, that's it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to be getting on with there. Um, all of the links to the different tutorials and channels are below. And yeah, like, again, if you go through it kind of in order, like if you really want to get into this and you've got the time to, um, start with Grant, then go to Blender Guru, and then CG Boost, then Derek's channel. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's any free resources that you think I've missed or need to be on this, or you should go here first or do like whatever, if you've got any advice, please do leave that in the comments. Uh, I want to grow this channel. We see it's a pretty new channel. Um, but I want to grow this channel to be a good resource for Learning Blender, kind of to give back, kind of, because I've, I've learned from the, these people doing this and I kind of want to give back some of my knowledge and put my unique spin on stuff. I'm going to have some tutorials coming up soon as well. I've just done a script for how to make a sun tutorial uh, for this image. And yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.